my name is Kim Scott. I'm a graduate student studying developmental psychology in the Brain and Cognitive Sciences Department at MIT. And this is my six-week-old daughter, Zena, who came into the lab today to help me tell you about the Look It project. Throughout infancy and early childhood, children are learning constantly, from us, as they play, and even as they sleep. There's no other system scientists know of that can learn as much, as fast, and from such sparse data as a human baby's brain. As a parent observing your child's changing behavior day to day, you may be curious about what's going on in there. Sometimes that rapid learning is obvious, but sometimes it's really not. It's amazing to see new motor skills emerge, but there isn't always an equivalent as your baby learns about, say, approximate number. On the Look at website, parents can contribute to current research about cognitive development from home. You'll be helping to advance the understanding of what kids know and how they learn, and you may also learn more about your own child's knowledge and strategies. To get started on Lookit, simply create an account at lookit.mit.edu. You'll be able to choose from current studies to find something appropriate for your child's age range. Whenever it's convenient for you, you do a quick activity with him or her right in your web browser, and webcam video is automatically recorded and sent back to the lab to analyze. You'll be guided through the setup to collect clear video. You can participate anytime that's convenient. You don't have to live near a lab or schedule a time. We know it's hard enough to predict when would be a good time for a baby to participate, let alone when you'll have time between work, school pickups, and laundry. Sometimes researchers need to make sure that parents don't inadvertently bias their children's responses. The problem, from our standpoint, is that babies are really tuned into their parents, and that's great for learning, but we want to make sure we're studying the kids' own beliefs, and that we know that if they look, say, to the left, it's not because their parent has very subtly shifted to the left themselves. Generally, we ask that you turn around and hold the infant over your shoulder. Data collected online is stored and treated very carefully, just like in the lab. Any researchers working with data from people have to go through specialized training about respecting confidentiality and privacy. We give you several options about how your data is used. At the end of the study, parents select what sorts of things it's okay to use the video for, whether that's keeping the video private within the lab, sharing with the scientific community, or using it for publicity. And no matter what you choose, we're reasonable people. Even if you select publicity, we're not going to pick out the part where your kid is picking his nose. Most parents also choose to allow archiving their data on the secure online repository Databrary, which allows other approved researchers to reuse the video data for other studies. It's kind of like doubling your donation. OK, so you've participated in a look at study with your child. What happens next? After your video arrives at the lab, a research assistant first checks that we have a valid consent video for the session. I didn't understand the consent document. I, <laughs> I am this child's parent or legal guardian, and we both agreed to participate in this study. If so, next we do video coding to record important measures about your child's behavior. For older kids, that may involve transcribing their responses. What do you think it's called? A teddy bear. Or writing down where they were pointing. Often, for the youngest participants, we use looking measures. For instance, how long does he or she look before looking away? How much of the time does he spend looking to the left versus the right? These measures let babies demonstrate understanding well before they can talk, and they've taught scientists a lot about what babies know and how they learn. A great example is Elika Bergelson's work showing that starting at just six months, infants understand the meaning of many common words. She showed that using a looking while listening paradigm, just asking parents to say, find the banana or find the nose while showing pictures of various objects. Don't worry, we know your baby probably won't be paying attention the whole time. Sometimes babies fuss or they think the whole study is boring. That's okay too. As the platform grows, we're looking forward to having studies from a wide variety of labs available so you can log in and find something for any of your kids to do and come back to try out something new later. That will include ways for families to participate in research about conditions that specifically affect their own kids, like autism. We need your help. Parents are essentially already citizen scientists. We're engaged in these decades-long field studies of our own kids. By putting all our efforts together and putting information about all our kids together, we can come to a better understanding of what's going on in there and just how amazing our kids' minds really are. We'd love to see you and your child on Look It. We hope you'll give it a try. Thank you.